in this video we are going to learn how to solve quadratic inequalities so what is a quadratic inequality quadratic inequality means a inequality which has a quadratic function on uh, one side so um, quadratic means degree 2 so uh, in another video we talk about how to solve um, quadratic inequalities with uh, less than signs now in this video we're going to talk about how to solve uh, inequalities with greater than sign um, so when you want to solve a quadratic inequality there are uh, four different methods uh, that we can use so what are they? so the first method is the graphical method and then you, what you're going to do is you're going to graph a graph the function so you're going to graph and then the second one is what we call the algebraic method you consider cases so you're going to consider cases so there are uh, two cases um, when you solve quadratic inequalities so if you call cubic it can go three and like that and then the second uh, third method is what we call the sign diagram method that's like uh, my favorite method because uh, this is very useful uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the uh, zeros and then we try to check the sign using uh, test points that's a sign diagram is very useful and then the shortcut method so you can remember that method for for test or advanced classes like calculus or pre-calculus you can use a shortcut method so if you're an algebra uh, try to use one of the other methods um, because your teacher uh, would like to see the, the the method that you use or steps okay so let's uh, um, look at the uh, graphical method first graphical method so we're going to look at the uh, second type of inequalities for this one and we saw the other type in the other video and you can find the link in the description so we're going to do a greater than or equal type of inequalities so less than or equal we consider the other one so what we normally do is in this graphical method we're going to graph it so that's what we call the uh, graphical method so we're going to graph the function we're going to call this function y which is y equal x squared minus x minus 2 uh, so how to graph this and you can see this is a quadratic or parabola so um, so we know that this is a quadratic quadratic that means a parabola so there are two type of graph that you're gonna get you're gonna get graph like this or graph like that um, and then how do you know which one that's coming from the uh, leading coefficient so you can see in this case the leading coefficient we normally call a which is equal to one the leading coefficient is one so that means which is greater than zero that means concave up so we know that this is concave up concave up or sometimes we also call this is opens up so opens up uh, so that means the graph has to be going up like that um and then the next one is we're going to find the zeros so we're going to find the zeros so to find the zeros what we normally do is we're going to set this equal to zero and then we look for the factorization so it's very easy to find the factors of this one uh, what we normally do is we look at the factors of this one that's going to add up to uh, negative one so negative two the two factors of this one that add up to negative one is negative two and one that means your factorization is x minus two and x plus one so if you are not comfortable with factoring i look at the video about crisscross method and you can find the link in the description that's like very a uh, quick way to find the factors uh, find the zeros okay and then what we do we each factor we're gonna get the zero so we set uh, each factor equal to zero so this says that x equal to and the other one also we're gonna set the factor equal to zero so which says that x equal negative one so those are two zeros now we can easily graph the function zero means that's where the graph gonna cross the x-axis so the graph gonna look like this now so we have two zeros one is a negative one the other one is two so then we can graph the um, quadratic function now because we know the zeros and this opens up so the graph can look like this so this is gonna uh, go to infinity and now if what we're gonna do is because we know the uh, inequality says that x squared minus x minus 2 has to be greater than or equal to zero this is the y value so we can check where the y value is above the x-axis and below the x-axis and you can see clearly uh, y value is above the x-axis on this side so so this is the part where uh, actually greater than or equal zero that means this, this uh, is a open a closed dot and then you can see 
are the graph is above the x-axis on this side so you can see if you pick this part you can see the graph is above the x-axis and similarly and you can see that on this side uh, again there's an equal sign because uh, yeah, there's an equal sign so that means a solid dot and then uh, you can see this part is also above the uh, x-axis so that's where uh, this is y is greater than or equal to zero and also here y is greater than or equal to zero and if you look at in between you can see y is below zero so what we are looking for is this two part so this part and that part so now we can actually easily uh, write the solution so you can see this is uh, this is going to negative infinity on this side and positive infinity on that side so that means uh, the solution is so you can have the solution is you can simply say which is negative infinity to negative one since we have the uh, equal sign in the inequality we include the point and the union why we say union because this is a o because it's one of them because it can be both because there's no common point into both those two inequalities those two intervals so it's like a o one of them and then uh, the other side you're going to get uh, 2 to infinity so 2 to infinity so that's the solution so we say union because one of them is a either good so this is what we call the graphical method so you graph the function and look for where the uh, graph is y is below the x-axis or above the x-axis so simple okay so let's look at the uh, next method now so we have as before x squared minus x minus 2 greater than or equal 0 so the first step is find the factors so we know the factors is x minus 2 and x plus 1 so those are the factors now the argument is we are gonna see when the product is because there's a product here there are two terms uh, two factors that are products so what we do we can check the when the product can be positive so the product can be positive if the first factor is positive and the second factor is positive then you get positive or the first factor is negative and the second factor is also negative because uh, uh, they should have the same sign so then uh, it has to be positive so that's the idea so that means there are two cases those are two cases so we're gonna do one by one so two cases so let's look at the first one the first one is so we can say um, x minus 2 greater than or equal 0 and x plus 1 greater than or equal 0. That's the first case. Remember there's an and here because both should satisfy. Both means and. Both means and. That's a both. So both should satisfy. And then O, oh, now this is the second case. So the second case. The first one can be negative or zero or the second one can be negative or zero so you can see that both should carry the same sign that's the second case actually it's not all it's an end it's an end it's very important and because it's both should be negative not just one both should be negative so this word is very important so those are two cases so we're going to solve one by one now so if you add if you add so the, for the first one if you add two to both sides this says that x is greater than or equal two and x is greater than or equal negative one so the easiest way to see this is look at the graph so we're going to get these graphs so this is the first one this says that two e, x is bigger than two bigger than or equal to two that means that bigger means the right side so we highlight the right side so let's look at the second one now so this says x is bigger than negative one so again we highlight the right side so that's the first one that's the second one so the solution is what is common to these two and if you look at these two you can see the common region is here that's where the everything has to be common so that means that's going to give you the solution set in other words which says that it is from two to infinity that's the common part so that's the solution from the first case now look at the second case in the second case what we can do is again we add two to both sides the first one says x is less than or equal to two and if you subtract one from both sides this is that x is less than or equal to negative one and as before we're going to graph the two functions now two um, two graphs now 
so we get so this is the first one we say so x is less than or equal to 2 that means it is the left side less than left side so let's look at the other one now so the second one says that x is less than or equal to negative 1 negative 1 so that means again you highlight the left side now what we can do as before we can look what is common so you can see the common region is only this part so it's only this side is a common region so that means this one says the solution is has to be this is negative infinity so it is negative infinity to negative one we always write the smaller one on the left side the larger one on the right side that's why we write it like that and infinities are always open now what are you going to do you can see any of them going to satisfy the uh, equation uh, the inequality so that means the solution so we can have the solution so the solution is now what we can do we're going to say uh, we can normally write the smaller one first so negative infinity to negative one or as a union the second one two to infinity so you can get two solutions from the two different cases and that is the solution now so let's look at the third one so the third method is a sign diagram method so this is my favorite method because it's very useful for many problems so again as before we have x squared minus x minus 2 greater than or equal 0 uh, so what we do is we're going to factor this so we're going to multiply the a and c terms this is the ac method so which is negative 2 and then we're going to think of a complete factorization of negative 2 that's going to add up to the leading coefficient so uh, not the leading coefficient the middle middle coefficient which is negative 2 and 1 so that means your factorization should be uh, x minus 2 and x plus 1 and you can see that those are the numbers we write inside uh, negative 2 and 1 now as before we're going to find the zeros so what are the zeros here x equal 2 is 1 0 and then x equal negative 1 is the other zero now what we do is we're going to draw them on a number line that's what we call the sign diagram so we're going to draw them on a number line and what we do here is we're going to do the sign of the function which is f or sine of y uh, what we do we're going to put the uh, zeros in the order so it's negative one is smaller one so we write it here since that equal sign we make it a solid dot and then the other one uh, is two and again since the equal sign we put a solid dot now what we can do we're going to put the test point so we're going to say uh, test point we use the t for test point so t equal three that's the test point what we're going to do now is we're going to plug in this value into each factor and check the sign we don't need the value we only need the sign so uh, so what happened is when you plug in this value to the first factor you get 3 minus 2 3 minus 2 is plus 1 so that means this is positive again you plug in that value to the second factor so if you plug in 3 uh, to the second factor you can see 3 plus 1 which is 4 that is also positive so positive positive means positive so that's the idea and then go to the next interval so here uh, we're going to find another point and you can see you can pick any point here the best point would be zero so if you can find zero go for it always because it's going to make the calculation much easier or simple when you plug in t equals zero that means you can just disregard the x so it is just uh, negative two so that means negative two that means negative and if you plug in that value into the second one you can say plus one which is positive so that means negative positive means negative and then uh, test point on the uh, leftmost interval is uh, maybe a good one would be negative 2 if you plug in negative 2 into the first factor you can see negative 2 uh, minus 2 so which is negative 4 which is negative and if you plug in negative 2 in the second one you can see negative 2 plus 1 which is negative 1 which is negative so negative negative means positive this is what we call the sine diagram sine diagram now what we're going to do we're going to go back to the inequality and see what is the appropriate interval and you can see what we need is greater than or equal zero so the greater than or equal zero means the first one and the last one so those are the two inequalities uh, two intervals so that means when you highlight it so what happen is you're gonna get this as the uh, solution so again you check because they are versa equal sign so that's the reason why you uh, make it a solid dot so if there is no equal sign we make this a open dot okay so the solution is so the solution so the solution is and you can say that it is going from negative infinity on this side so negative infinity to negative one we normally write the smaller one first and then union because it's a o it's a either o. 
uh, so it's so O. O means the union. Because one of them. Because you can see that there's no common point to these two intervals. It cannot be an end. It cannot be intersection. It has to be an, a, a union. Because there's no common point. It's one of them. Only one of them. Not both. And then the other one is true to infinity. We write the larger one later. So that is the solution. So let's look at the uh, fourth method or the shortcut method. In the shortcut method, what we can do is it's very similar to uh, previous part. So we're gonna we look at the uh, so this is the inequality. So what we do is we can look at the factorization, the factorization x minus two and x plus one as before, and then we again find the uh, zeros. So the first zero is x equal two, the second zero is x equal negative one. Uh, so what we're gonna do in uh, we're gonna put them on the number line. Uh, I mean, you you do you really don't need the number line, but it can help you to understand what's going on. So this is a negative one. This is the uh, uh, second one. So a smaller one and larger one. And um, there's an equal sign, so it will solid dot. So what the theory says, what the argument is, if it is a negative, so what we need is we need opposite sign because a negative. Negative means you need the plus and minus. So that means what we do is we're gonna pick inside. Because if you pick an inside point, what will happen? One is positive and one is negative. So the product is negative. Uh, and then if it's a greater than, what we do is we're going to pick outside. So that's the shortcut. Outside. The idea is if it's outside, you can see either both positive or both negative. So that means uh, um, so both positive or both negative. So that means uh, you're going to get a final product is positive. So it's positive and positive. That's the idea. So either both positive or both negative. So that means we're going to be outside. So that's the idea. So since it's greater than or equal, it's outside. So we're going to put the outside as a solution. So that's it. So it's so simple. So if you can remember this argument, you can use this for like advanced classes like calculus. So do not try to use this for algebra. Uh, because your teacher, your professor might want to see what you are doing. So, because this is a shortcut, this is good for like calculus, pre calculus, or like a, uh, advanced classes. Um, but still, you can, and then also competitions. Like if you if you are in, interested in Olympiad mathematics, maybe this is a good way to do it because you can save a lot of time. Okay, so those are the four methods, and now you can try these problems as practice problems. Thank you. Now try these problem as, uh, problems as practice problems uh, and you can see that there are different types. Make sure that you see the equal design um, and strict inequality. So uh, try to use your favorite method for these ones and also in the comment section uh, like try to see uh, try to see like which one is your favorite method and why. Um, and if you have a hard time uh, factoring these inequalities uh, these uh, expressions and uh, look at the video about crisscross method um, and that explains a quick method to factor things like this uh, that's the method like I dis uh, discovered like recently that's like uh, help you to find uh, factors very quickly okay thank you